Welcome back, time-traveling oceanographers, to the western interior seaway, that vast, olive green expanse cutting through ancient North America. T today, we're not talking about the apex predators you know. We're meeting their accountant, the ultimate opportunist, Squalacorax, the crow shark. This shark wasn't a giant. It was a mid-sized, efficient predator, vast enough to be a serious threat. Its most defining feature is a set of teeth that were pure utility. Unlike the smooth, dagger-like teeth of its larger cousins, Squalacorax had teeth with fine serrations, like little steak knives. These were perfect for slicing through the tough hides of sea turtles, filleting large fish, and most importantly, cleaning up the leftovers from Mosasaur brawls. Squalacorax wasn't ashamed of scavenging. It built a career on it. It turned catastrophe into calories with incredible speed and nerve. We've found its distinct bite marks on the bones of hadrosaurs duck billed dinosaurs that washed out to sea. This means the crow shark patrolled the coastlines, a master of finding free meals, taking what it could from bloated carcasses before they sank into the abyss. Its strategy was all about opportunity and stamina. Imagine, cruising for hours along the current seams where debris and nutrients collected. It would make quick and clean entries into a feeding frenzy, grab a mouthful, and get out before bigger, more dangerous mouths writhed. Giants like Cretox Rena and the mighty Mosasaurs dominated the main stage. Squalacorax, however, owned the flanks and the after parties. Because of this lifestyle, its teeth are some of the most common fossils found in the Cretaceous chalk beds, scattered like snowflakes on the ancient seafloor. In museums around the world, you can find the ribs of turtles and the bones of plesiosaurs bearing the signature of a Squalacorax bite. It knew how to read the ocean. When a storm rolled in, it knew which shores would collect the unfortunate victims, preloading these maps into its muscle memory. When the Cretaceous period ended and the seaway vanished, the Squalacorax body plan didn't disappear entirely. Its ecological niche, its way of life, evolved and migrated into the sharks we see today. Think of modern black dips, reef sharks, or any species that thrives by capitalizing on someone else's bad day. They are the spiritual successors to the crow shark. The ultimate lesson from Squalacorax is that ecosystems are circular economies. Waste is just a resource waiting for the right specialist. The crow shark ran both sanitation and profit, a vital fixer in a brutal world. Thanks for cruising the cleanup lane with us today. If you enjoyed this deep dive, make sure to hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and comment below with the next prehistoric fixer you want us to profile. See you on the next tide.